your life journey begins when you're born as a baby and then you start to develop into a toddler and then you start to become more of a mature child and then you start to um you know after you start to mature more right, you get put into a nursery or kindergarten right depending on where you're from and then you start to get educated right you start to get information starts to get put into your head by the teachers right at, at your nursery or kindergarten again depending on where you're from right and you start to learn things right and then you start to become a little bit more mature and older right and you start to become more mature and older and stuff and then you you, know, you become more of a uh, mature child and stuff and then you get sent to a primary school or elementary school right primary school or elementary school and stuff or middle school as well right? depending, again depending on where you're from and stuff and then you know the education gets more advanced you start to get taught more things and stuff you know the education starts to get more advanced and you start to learn more things yeah, and then you know, of course, you keep getting you know, primary, middle, primary school, or middle, or middle, primary school, or elementary, or middle school. So keep getting mixed up, you know. You get educated, then you get sent to a secondary or high school, right? something that's a lot more advanced. Then you get more education given to you and stuff. You get your head gets back with more knowledge and stuff. And then you know, you get sent to college or university, and then you get a job. And this is what most people do in their life, right? This is the trajectory that they usually go on and stuff. But this is kind of, you know, it's kind of insane and scary a little bit that so many people have this as their kind of life goal, life, well, not really life goal, but, you know, you know what I mean? Like, this is like the trajectory that most people are on, right? you know, nursery, kindergarten, and, you know, primary or elementary or middle school, right? and then secondary or high school. This is like what most people are, what most people like go through and stuff, and then, you know, college, university, and then you get a job, that's kind of this is kind of scary man and, and then you know you start earning money and then you just get old and you die this is like what most people do with their lives and stuff right but very few people do anything different right that's kind of scary but you know so why so you know what, what, what so why is right? this is, isn't this kind of like average isn't that kind of like average it's kind of you know, it's not what should be happening and stuff. Nah, it's kind of, to me, it's, it's kind of insane, right? Now, this is like, you know, you're, you're born, right, as a baby, right? Then you start to become a toddler, right? And you start to become more of a mature child. And then you get sent to a nursery or kindergarten, right? And then you pass through that and then you get sent to um primary school, primary school or, you know, elementary or middle school, right? And then you get sent to secondary or high school and then you go to college or university, and then you get like put into a uh, into a job, right? And then you start earning money, but it's kind of it's kind of terrifying, right? And, and this is like what most people do with their lives, right? Very few of us kind of do anything more spectacular, any anything more like um, more, I guess more anything more, um, I guess more amazing. Right? We don't a lot of us just kind of do go through this simple like these simple stages in our lives, right? And then we just, you know, and then we, we earn money and stuff and then we just get old and die. But why, well, okay, so well, what should you be doing with your uh, life, your life journey, right? You should, in my opinion, I believe that you should kind of start to um, definitely consider some type of a spiritual path, some sort of spiritual path, right? What do I mean by spiritual path, right? You know, you have to find some type of religion, find yourself some type of religion that you kind of, have some type of um some type of respect for right? you know something that can give you this kind of extra purpose and meaning in life right this is, this is like what you should be doing right? a lot of people again you know they go through their uh, you know nursery school kindergarten whatever then primary or middle or well, middle elementary or middle school yeah and then you know, secondary high school and then college university and then they get a job and that's it you know they don't really prioritize anything else right they just kind of prioritize getting a high paying job at the end of the day and that's kind of that's kind of a little bit shocking and scary right? you should be wanting to do more right? more with your life again but all right so what should you be doing with your life again you know you should 
consider some sort of spiritual path. I find some religion that you have some great deal of respect for, right? Of course, there's so many different religions, right? So you would have to kind of do your own uh, research. You'd have to do your own research. Um, you'd have to study all of the different religions and stuff and find which one you like. You know, other than, you know, spirituality, what else? What, what else should you uh, be prioritizing in your life? You know, it's kind of hard for me to kind of specify anything specific, right? You know, life goes, you, you need to kind of work towards something, right? Money, again, you shouldn't, money shouldn't be your uh, goal. Money is just like a, it's a means to an end, right? is isn't the end itself, right, you know? It shouldn't be the end itself, right? Money is just like something you use to get stuff done, right? And to get towards something more greater, right? You have to think about, like, what is, like, what type of work are you really dedicated to? What... What makes you feel fulfilled? You know, Steve Jobs, right? Apple was his thing, right? He, he was dedicated to computers and stuff. And he spent his whole life trying to, you know, improve computers to kind of bring more innovation to that industry and stuff, right? <sighs> right? You know, like, Steve Jobs, you know, like someone like him, like he, he dedicated his life to computers and right to electronics and stuff like that he was trying to improve that industry right but what about you right what about you what what, what is it what would you kind of consider in your life right what would you like want to improve upon and stuff right that's something you would have to kind of think about what would you like kind of want to improve in your life well not really improve i mean you know what what, what would you want to work towards like what specific goal what would you want to kind of bring into the world that's what you gotta really think about right you know again steve jobs right he wanted to kind of improve the industry of computers and electronics and, right? and so he created apple and you know and he created a bunch of these different innovations related to apple right he kind of helped bring these um his like these types of uh, innovations into the world right you know apple right computers and stuff like that he really did kind of shape that industry right you know other than steve jobs i don't know I, you know, plenty of other uh, great inventors and innovators did things, right? They had, like, something that they were working on, working towards. They were interested in something, right? Uh, you, likewise, you know, you, uh, but, you know, some people would say that, oh, hobbies and interests, that, that could be, like, a waste of time, depending on, like, what it is, right? Because, you know, a lot of people like playing video games, right? You know, a lot of people like playing video games, but, you know, some people would argue that video games are a waste of time. So, again, it depends on... Uh, Yes, again, it's a lot of subjectivity. I can't really specify anything. I can't tell you how to live your life. It's kind of because you know I'm not you and stuff. I'm, we're coming from different places, right? And so, you know, but, but, you know, in my opinion, right, you should definitely consider some some spiritual path, something to do with spirituality, right? Consider some type of spiritual path, right? And then you know, get some type of um, uh, you know greater goal that you want to kind of dedicate your life to right you know whatever that goal may be and stuff right let's just say let's say you want to you want to be some type of humanitarian person right like let's say Teresa may or someone well i don't even know if i pronounced that name correctly someone like some humanitarian person i don't know <laughs> i was pulling things from my brain and stuff you know what i mean right? you want to be humanitarian so you want to you know donate to charity maybe you can do that you gotta think carefully about this right do not waste your life right that's kind of the worst Thing. like when people they just kind of they just sit on their backsides they don't really do anything they just kind of i don't know make money and that's it and then they just kind of spend their money on a bunch of different things that they like you know but that's kind of that's kind of scary right? you want to do stuff that's meaningful right? again i guess it does kind of break down to um meaning meaning is kind of like what you would yeah look at this park man this is like the park i used to go to when i was a lot younger and littler and stuff with my parents and friends and stuff but you know, this is kind of besides the point the meaning is kind of very important you would have to kind of consider something meaningful in your life right and spirituality i can already brought this up right what what spiritual path would you want to take consider taking right the abrahamic religions right they can offer you something meaningful you would have to consider, like, uh, in my opinion, I would, I would kind of highly advise anyone watching this to consider uh, Islam as their religion of choice, right? And that's just because of, like, from the research that I've done, I believe that Islam is it's the least, kind of, least, kind of, it's the least, it's the religion with the least amount of contradictions and errors. You know, I read the Bible completely and fully from Genesis to Revelations, right? 
I read the Bible fully and I just found dozens of contradictions in the Bible. Right? That just kind of threw me off Christianity, right? You know, Judaism isn't something I would even consider. It's not really even, you know, the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, right? It doesn't even mention an afterlife, right? So Judaism wasn't, wouldn't be something I would even consider. You know, and Islam, it just kind of check, it met all of my uh, check marks. It kind of it gave me like that type of um, purpose and stuff. It kind of made me feel more, a lot more fulfilled. So that's why I would kind of consider, anyone watching this, I would highly advise you to consider Islam as your uh, choice for your religion. Well, other than Islam, right, what else? You know, you know other than Islam, like, oh, you can see, like, what about the Dharmic religions? What about the Dharmic religions, right? You know, what do I mean by Dharmic religions from India? You know, Buddhism, Hinduism, you know. Sikhism, these religions, right? What about these religions, right? Buddhism is something peaceful, right? You know, in my opinion, I believe Buddhism is like more of a philosophy. I don't believe it's like a, a complete religion, right? Buddhism doesn't really, like, the Buddha didn't really tell you, like, why you really exist, or right? He just said that, you know, life is about suffering and you should kind of become more detached and kind of, then you'll start to suffer less. That's what the Buddha was kind of sort of teaching, right? So, you know, Buddhism, like, in my opinion, it's like more of a philosophy. I wouldn't even really consider it a religion. And Hinduism and Sikhism, those kind of those religions are kind of low. And there's a lot of stuff that you know you you wouldn't really appreciate if you considered it properly and stuff. So you know, and again, this is a, from my opinion, right? But you can do your own research, and you might find some meaning and value in those religions, those Dharmic religions from India. But you know, of course, again, I can't really specify anything for you specifically, right? Because, you know, subjectivity and stuff, right? But, you know, for me, I, you know, I, I believe Islam would be kind of like the most perfect religion to follow. But again, that's just me. I, I can't really specify and tell you anything, right? What did I want? What else did I want to kind of bring up, right? You know, in, in your, your, your life journey, right? You know, you're born right, as a baby, you know, then you, I already kind of kind of stressed this earlier, right? You're born as a baby, then you start to develop into a toddler, then you become more of a mature child, right? and then you get sent to nursery or kindergarten again, depending on where you're from. And then you get, you know, through primary, elementary, or middle school, then through secondary or high school, and then through college and university, then you get a job and you earn a lot of money. This is like what most people do with their lives, right? You know, but you gotta kind of strive for something more in your life. You gotta try doing something that's more meaningful and valuable and stuff. And, you know, again, I, I, I keep mentioning spirituality because spirituality is crucial. Right? You cannot just go through your life just kind of, just purely, like, kind of, not just purely thinking about material wealth and gains and stuff like that, things relating to the material world, right? Only thinking about, like, becoming financially wealthy. Right? Again, money, making money your end, right? Making money, like, your ultimate end goal. Again, money is just a means to an end. Look at that plane. This guy, you see that? You see that? Oh, it's not a plane. Oh, you can't even see it. Look at the sky, man. Look at the sky and stuff. Swing set. You used to jump around here a lot. Kind of get you a, give give you a little bit more of a close up. Yeah, I used to get around here. But what did I? I keep kind of forgetting a lot of things. What did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, spirituality. What was it spirituality? Yeah, you know. Being like a materialist, right? Only doing things for like, I don't know, money or wealth. That, that's like, your, that's the only thing you're concerned about. That's horrible, right? Look at all those old billionaires, right? Those old geezers with a lot of money, man. They're like, they just look fucking soulless, man. I don't want to use profound, any type of language that's horrible, right? Rockefeller, any of those like old billionaires that you see, they look literally soulless, right? They don't even have any, it looks like they don't even have like life inside of them, right? That's, that's, you don't want to choose their path, man. You should definitely consider some type of spiritual path as well, right? But, you know, spirituality is a lot of... It's vague, right? It's kind of stupid as well. Right? You know, a lot of people believe in a lot of nonsense as well, right? You know, fasting or some other... Well, fasting is a nonsense, right? There, there are some type of benefits to it, right? Even in Islam, right? Ramadan, it's, it's about fasting, right? So, I don't know. But, you know, but there is a lot of... You know, when I say spirituality, there's so much nonsense associated with spirituality, right? A lot of pseudo-intellectual nonsense that you'd have to kind of steer clear of, but I can't really tell you anything specific. Ah, uh, so, yeah, what, uh, well, yeah, but you would have to consider spirituality in your life, right? Some type of spiritual path again. You don't want to become like uh, David Rockefeller or any of the other Rockefellers or any of these other old billionaire geezers, right? That have a lot of money, but they're just, they literally look soulless, right? They don't even look like they have life inside of them, right? You don't want to turn out like them, right? Old and miserable and depressed. 
so spirituality, right? Consider like some type of proper spiritual path, right? You know, I'm getting about, you know, I say spirituality. So many people believe in like a lot of nonsense regarding spirituality, right? You know, stupidity. Like, you know, I don't know, you, you got a lot of nonsense. <laughs> you gotta be kind of careful when you're considering your uh, spiritual path. You don't just, you know, you don't buy into anything that someone, that some like kind of, like, anything that is kind of ridiculous, right? You wanna be very careful, right? You know, but you know, it's up to you to consider it, right? Up to you specifically, right? To consider it and stuff. What else, bro? You know, oh, look at that sunset, man. Is that a sunset? Well, not sunset. You know, the sun's going down and it's kind of rising up. All right, that's kind of off topic. What did I want to... What else did I... Yeah, spirituality. I keep stressing, you know, you have your life journey, right? <laughs> you don't want to just make everything about money, getting a lot of money, then you just... You know, you're comfortable living, right? You're comfortable living. You can afford all the basic things you need to survive, right? That's good, but, you know, you should do it. Again, spirituality is crucial, right? Maybe you should also consider some type of like, philosophy, right? Studying philosophy, kind of understanding things relating to philosophy, right? So you can kind of structure your, uh, I guess, your thinking a lot better, I guess. Your way of seeing the world could become a lot better. Right? You can, you can kind of improve your your way of understanding the world right by studying philosophy and the you know the other uh, philosophy you know, and the other things related to philosophy and stuff of course also you could kind of get maybe you know get into science as well you know, you know science you know, a lot of mo like science you know, like when mo like most people that are into science they're extremely materialistic right they completely reject any spiritual path in their lives right so you know science when i say science you gotta be kind of a little bit more uh, careful right you know science you know, but you know, of course, science is very practical, right? You know, science helped, you know, improve the world, right? you know, through you know various different ways, right? You know, through kind of inventing medicine and stuff like that, you know, computers, technology, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, you know, science. So it's very practical, right? But you you know, a lot of people that are into science. They're super materialistic, and that's kind of horrible. That's very scary, horrible, right? It, it, it's kind of it's just it's bad. You know? They're very materialistic, right? They kind of completely disregard any type of spirituality. They make it all about like science, like they make it all about the material world and stuff. That's what they make it about, man. And that's kind of horrible and stuff. So yeah, you know, science is something practical, but you know, spirit. I always keep stressing spirituality, right? Because you know, you're you're born, right? And then we go through our stage, different stages of uh, life. But you know, you you have to realize you're going to die someday, right? We're not going to be on this um this earth forever, right? So you have to kind of consider like some type of um you know spiritual path, right? And plus, you know, you want to find some type of meaning and purpose, right? Again, right? You don't just want to. And then consider only the material world, right? You want some type of purpose and meaning, right? You know, because you know, otherwise you're just gonna kind of feel empty and unfulfilled. Again, like those, um, you know, like a lot of those old rich billionaires, right? Like the Rockefellers and other people like them, right? They all look soulless, literally, right? They, they look depressed. They have a lot of money, right? material wealth, material success, but they're so they look literally soulless and depressed and miserable, right? Because you know, I, I I believe they don't really get yeah, like you know, spirituality is not really their thing, in my opinion. Right? Yeah, so you know, you gotta really you know your life journey. You gotta find some type of greater purpose and kind of work towards that purpose, right? You should also consider a spiritual path. Definitely consider a spiritual spiritual path, right? Don't just focus on the material world. You gotta consider some type of path, some type of path, a spiritual path, right? Not just any other type of path, specifically a spiritual path. You gotta consider it, you know, but you know, spirituality is kind of a little, little bit, it's a little bit vague. It's a little bit vague, right, again, but you know, don't just focus on the material world, right? Consider some type of spiritual path that would kind of help you become more fulfilled in your life and stuff. Again, you know, money, right? Money is just a means to an end, right? A lot of people make money the ultimate end goal. And, you know, again, like, again, those old billionaires like David Rockefeller, all, any of the other Rockefellers and stuff, like, they look literally miserable and depressed, right? And they're old and they're soulless, right? And they're about to die, but, you know, and, you know, again, they look such unfulfilled and depressed and they just, you know, it's just, you know they, they, that's like, kind of, should tell you right, that money is not the ultimate thing that you should, only, that you should consider in your life, right? You have to consider other things too, man. Not just 
money because that's what most people just consider in their lives they just consider money and stuff and that's horrible man I can't, I can't, I can't show you it because it's hard to kind of punch it. yeah a lot of people just consider money in their lives right? but that's kind of horrible man again you don't want to end up like the Rockefellers right? those old geezers they have a lot of money but they're soulless and depressed definitely don't want to end up like that so you gotta consider some type of spiritual path man you gotta make sure you consider some type of spiritual path you gotta kind of get some meaning and purpose into your life and you gotta work towards something greater and not just something to do with like wealth material wealth and stuff right some type of greater purpose or some type of more greater existential spiritual purpose anything like that man don't you don't want to end up like the rockefellers or any of these other old geezers right that have a lot of money right have a lot of money but they're super they look kind of like soulless and depressed <laughs> you could just look at pictures of them on the internet they, they're not some they're not people that you would want to end up to like right so yeah it's kind of it's tricky man it's really tricky it's tricky it's tricky because see those towers yeah, i'm just kind of like showing you a lot of the surroundings and stuff i don't know to kind of give you like some perspective on where i am but yeah so you know your life journey don't make money your ultimate goal making a lot of money because that's you know those old billionaires those old geezers right? plenty of them and they have a lot of money but they look soulless and miserable right that's not how you want to end up in life right but of course you know you know it's tricky man because like what, what should you do with your life right? it's gonna it's, again i can't really give you any clear answers right because i'm not you i don't know where you're coming from right and there's a lot of subjectivity and stuff so it's gonna can't really tell you anything specific right you know really you gotta shouldn't you should consider something greater that's all i can say but you know a lot of people say well what do you mean by that that's kind of vague and retarded and stupid why would you what do you mean by greater it's kind of again it's very there's a lot of subjectivity involved and stuff so again you know, like those old geezers with a lot of money right david rockefeller all those rockefeller guys and those other rich families and stuff you don't want to end up like them right they look soulless and depressed right and that's what i'm that's kind of what i'm trying to get to get across here right? you want to consider some type of spiritual path right but, you know it's, it's a lot of subjectivity involved and it's hard to kind of for me to kind of give you a clear answer again and stuff but what what should you do with your life right it's kind of there is no clear answer right you know you don't just want to again be making money and uh, you know just kind of focusing on money material wealth again right but you know a lot of people could say that you know well you need money and stuff yeah of course you don't want to just make it your ultimate goal in life to just make a lot of money and that's it <laughs> again like those old geezers that i keep talking about right like rockefeller plenty of these other old rich families and people right they have a lot of money man but they're miserable and depressed they don't they're like they look literally soulless right? that's kind of shocking right? if you look at a lot of these old rich geezers man they look soulless man they don't look like they have any type of life in them man you don't want to end up like these old geezers with a lot of money but so what, what so what should you do though right? it's kind of again there's no clear answers right? i can't give you a clear answer what should you do with your uh, with your life and stuff can't give you a clear answer. Ooh, a lot of birds, man. A lot of birds. Yeah, man. I can't give you any clear answer, right? Because it's kind of subjective and stuff. It's hard for me to kind of talk to, talk to you about this properly and stuff, right? But you know, you don't want to end up like you know, those old geezers with a lot of money, right? Rockefeller and, and people like him. They have a lot of money, but they're completely depressed and stuff. Man. So it's kind of it's very tricky it's very tricky man. i can't give you clear answers and stuff right clear answers man. so so what, what, what would you like uh, do with your life and stuff right you know again how again consider some type of spiritual path that's what you should be kind of considering and doing in your life right some type of spiritual path but other than you know spiritual path you know what else what else what else what else, what else? ah it's kind of it's becoming kind of a little bit more tedious and difficult to talk about right? you know you should kind of also kind of consider um, i guess it's kind of again it's very hard to kind of think about it right 
you don't want to just be concerned with the material world, right? This, this, this physical world and stuff like that. You want to kind of think about like something greater, right? some higher spiritual purpose. It's, it's tricky, man. Yeah, because uh, there was no clear answers, right, on what you should be doing with your life. Like, um, but realistically, like, what would you, sh- what should you be doing with your life? Right? You have to kind of think about that, man. And you just want to like, make a lot of money and get rich, but then you, you know, you become old. You, you have a lot of money, but you're, you know, like these old rich geezers, right? like Rockefeller and you know, other people like Rockefeller, right? all these other rich families, right? You want to just kind of end up like them. They're rich. They have a lot of material wealth, right? but you know, they're super miserable and depressed. So, there's no clear answer, and that's kind of the issue. What you should be doing with your life, right? What's you know your life journey? What, what, how, how should you kind of be kind of navigating your life journey, right? What, what type of uh, things should you be kind of working towards and stuff? You know, it's a lot of subjectivity, right? You know, but, you know, I keep kind of talking about how money shouldn't be your ultimate goal, but you you know, you do need money, right, to kind of do basic things and stuff like that. You do need money to do basic things, right? To kind of to afford to live and stuff, right? You, money isn't like something that you should. It's like it's, I keep, I kind of, I kind of make it like seem like you know you should not even consider money at all. Right? You shouldn't even be considering jobs and stuff like that, which is kind of ridiculous. You would need to kind of you you would need some like type of a well established like I don't know job or some way to earn money, right? That's that can help you like live your life properly, right? Because you know without money you can't afford to eat. You can't afford electricity. You can't afford housing and stuff. So money is like I keep I keep kind of making it seem like money should not even be on your mind. You know you, should, you have to consider money, I guess. But it, you know, it depends, man. Like you know, because you know you don't end up like those old rich geezers that just have a lot of money, but they don't they haven't considered anything else in their life, right? You know, you gotta not really only, only prioritize money, right? You have to think about other things to do in your life that you'd want to kind of focus on to where can you know no clear answers no clear answers that can give you around what you should be doing with your in your life journey right what you should kind of be working towards because you know, i'm not you <laughs> but what i could kind of really advise you right is to yeah, again consider spirit some type of spiritual path right study all the world religions right then you know find which one you like the most and kind of you know kind of adopt that kind of kind of treat it like your baby that's what you should be doing right? oh you know uh, well maybe even that you should be uh, a lot of you might say no no we, like, we, like, you know, no maybe we can just do whatever we want right? again like your life journey right your life journey not like i can't tell you anything that you should specifically be doing with your life journey right because i'm not you You know, but your life journey, you know, a lot of, you know, people, they, you know, they, they, they do, they kind of just focus on material wealth and getting a lot of money, right, but, you know, but, of course, you know, money, you need it to do things in life, right, you need it to live properly, and so, so you're not just homeless on the streets, you know, I'll, I'll actually kind of even say that you should probably get a job that you like doing, right, something that, you know, maybe you can kind of, your purpose, you can kind of relate it to your, your, you know, the job that you're trying to get, you can kind of make it, you can make like, something that you find meaningful, your job, right, you know, that's very tricky and difficult, right, a lot of people like playing games, and they try, I mean, turning that into a job is kind of extremely difficult, you know, you know, like these YouTubers that play games, and then they get a lot of money, you know, they're not really, they're kind of outliers, right, if you tried doing that, you might not really be successful, so. But, you know, you, I guess you, should, you could, like, also consider, like, getting some type of job that you enjoy uh, that's related to, like, something that you would find meaningful, right? something that's related to your purpose in life and stuff. But it's gonna, you know, I don't know about that, really, specifically. Yeah, but, you know, m- materialism is not something you should really consider, right? You gotta have something higher in your life, some type of greater purpose, not just so the material world. Not just materialism, right? Because most people they just focus on getting a lot of material wealth and stuff, and that's it. Oh. They just focus on getting a lot of material wealth, and, and that's kind of horrible. Because you know, again, those old rich geezers like Rockefellers, right? They have a lot of money, man, but they're super depressed. 
so you know that should kind of teach you some type of lesson uh, and they look so, 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 uh, you know, so money is not the ultimate thing right? you know you do need money to do live to live properly and stuff so ask uh, clear no clear answer you know your life journey right you know? Again, most people, right, they go, they're, they're, you know, your life journey begins when you're born as a baby, right? And you start to turn into a toddler, you start to become more of a mature child, right? And then you get put, you know, you get put into nursery or kindergarten. Nursery or kindergarten, right? depending on where you're from, right? Because, you, you know, nursery if you're from the UK or and kindergarten if you're from North America or somewhere else like that, right? You know, then you start to get educated by the teachers there right? and stuff. And then you start to become more mature and then you get sent to primary school again if you're in the UK or elementary or middle school if you're in North America or somewhere else, right? And you know, you get more education, you, you know, et cetera. And you start to become more mature and stuff. Then you get sent to, you know, secondary school again if you're in the UK or high school if you're in North America or somewhere else, right? High school. And then, you know, you get sent to like college, university, other forms of education. And then you get put into a job if you're lucky, right? And then you can get a lot of you start earning money and this stuff and, and that's like that's what most people that's like what most people do with their lives right that's most I, 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 this this is like what most people do this is like life journey for most people are right? there this type of um these different stages like this is what most people kind of have with and have in their lives right do with their lives you know what i mean like this is like the life journey that most people are on right? you know you gotta kind of take a little detour right? that's what i would tell you right you gotta maybe consider again i mentioned earlier right? some type of spiritual path I'll study all of the world religions i can't really specify anything because i'm i don't know where who you are right so you know i can't really give you any clear answers so on what you should be doing with your uh, life, what you should specifically be studying, right? you know, but, you know, consider all of the religions of the world, right? Study all of them. I read all the major religious scriptures and holy texts, right? You know, can, like, you know, carefully compare all of the world, different world religions and their holy scriptures, you know, really check what's appropriate for you, right? Again, materialism, right? Only considering, like, I don't know, material, getting a lot of material wealth, only considering some type of fully materialistic path, I don't know, like making money your ultimate goal this is horrible man look at again a lot of those old geezers right like the rockefellers other people like them right that have a lot of money but you know they're old and they're depressed and they look kind of like they're soulless right you know so spirit you know some type of spiritual path right on your life journey you're gonna take a detour you're gonna consider some type of spiritual path maybe not just some type of spiritual path but you Maybe you should also kind of consider like maybe getting involved in like science or uh, philosophy and stuff like that. Science and philosophy, understanding some type of philosophy that will, might help you in your life, right? Or some well, philosophy is not really a particular thing, right? It's more of a way of thinking and seeing the world, right? But you know, you gotta again, you gotta take a detour. Right? Most people on their life journeys, right? You know. They get the, most people, your life journey begins when you're born as a baby, right? And then you start to turn into a toddler. You get more mature, right? You turn into a more mature child. Then you get sent to nursery if you're in the UK or, you know, kindergarten if you're from North America or somewhere else. And, you know, you get started to get educated and you start to become more mature. And then you get sent to, uh, you know, primary school again if you're in the UK or elementary or middle school if you're in North America, right? And you start to get more education and stuff. And, you know, and then you get sent to either, you know, secondary school or middle or you know you know secondary school yeah again secondary school I keep I kind of I don't know secondary school or yeah high school oh, yeah high school then you know and then blah 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 you get educated blah 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 whatever sent to college university whatever blah blah other forms of education blah 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 and then you get a job and you start earning money and that's what, what, that's the life journey of most people right that's like what that's the life journey that most people are on right but you gotta take a detour man you gotta consider some type of spiritual path man you gotta consider something different, right? Don't just follow this life journey that most people are on. You gotta consider something more, something great, or right? some other higher thing. Something that can give you like a more meaning in life and stuff. That's what you gotta consider, man. This life journey that most people are on is horrible, right? You should not consider it. You should consider something great or, you know, your life journey, right? You should take a detour. Don't just follow like what most people are 
are doing with their lives. Don't just like go through like what most people are going through, right? You know, like don't just like focus on materialism, like getting like making money your ultimate goal, right? That's horrible, man. Look at again those old geezers like Rockefeller, plenty of other people like them, right? That have a lot of money, but you know they're old. They get old. They are, they, a lot of them might be young now, but you know they were get old someday and they were look pretty soulless and depressed, right? So you know consider like something greater in your life you know take a detour right? you know your, your life journey don't just make money your ultimate goal and end right you know consider something greater with your life <laughs> consider some type of higher purpose that, you can, that can help you become more fulfilled and stuff right consider something greater that's all i'm going to kind of stress and say you should consider something greater in your life focus on what your purpose is right Focus on your purpose, man. Focus. Get, get. If you don't know your purpose, then you gotta keep focusing on it. Right? Think about what makes you feel fulfilled and happy and content. And, and kind of try and make that your ultimate goal. Right? Try to work towards that. Right? Whatever that is. Right? Whatever that makes you feel fulfilled and uh, happy and whatever. You know, of course, spirituality is always something you should consider. You should consider some type of spiritual path, right? But, you know, this is, I can't really specify anything because I don't know where you're coming from, right? All I would say is, you know, study all of the world religions, right? Properly and stuff. Read all of the major world religions. Read all of their uh, holy scriptures and texts, their religious script scriptures, whatever, and books, whatever. Read through all of them, right? Properly consider some type of spiritual path, right? All I should, all I really want to say is, right, don't make, you know, money your ultimate goal, right? Don't just focus on, like, gaining a lot of material wealth, right? Because, you know, you, you have to remember that you're going to turn old someday, right? And you're going to leave this world, right? So, you have to consider something more spiritual, something greater, right? Not just material wealth, because, you know, you're going to get old and you're going to die, and all that money is just going to just disappear, you're not going to be able to take that into your grave, take that with you into your grave. Or maybe, you, well, you could kind of bury yourself with all of your material wealth. Right? But it's not going to, you know, your consciousness isn't going to be here anymore. Right? You're going to be in some other type of place, or you might not even exist. You know, I can't really, you know, because, you know, no one's, no one has really even, you know, seen the afterlife, right? You know, it's all speculation. Right? If there even is an afterlife, right? We'll never, like, we, no one, like, none of us watching this uh, video, right? Anyway, like, any of you watching this video, right? Like, you know, like, you're not gonna, like, you know, you, you, like, we don't know what's gonna happen after, you know, after our time is up, so, you know, it's gonna, shouldn't even really be talking about this, right, but, you know, don't make money your ultimate goal, right, you know, materialism's horrible, right, you know, in the modern world, materialism's, like, what kind of dominates the modern world, right, it's just, like, people are just obsessed with the material world, and this is kind of horrible, right, this is, like, this is why so many different people are becoming depressed, becoming suicidal and stuff, so, you know, materialism is horrible. You should not consider materialism as your only path in life, right? Only focus about, focused and concerned about getting a lot of material wealth, money, you know, stuff like that. That's horrible, man. You gotta kind of consider something great or, again, right? you don't want to end up like Rockefeller or those other old geezers that have a lot of money, right? But they're depressed and they look soulless and they, they're not like people that you don't want to copy and emulate. So you gotta really be careful, man man or woman or whoever you are, right? You don't want to just make materialism your, uh, the thing that you uh, kind of consider right, in your life. You gotta consider some type of spiritual path. You gotta consider something great or find something that you like, right? Find something that's meaningful and whatever it is, you gotta kind of prioritize that in your life, right? Don't prioritize money, man. That's all I should really be saying, right? Money is just a means to an end, right? It's not the ultimate goal that you should have in your life, making a lot of money, right? Find something that's, uh, <coughs> that's fulfilled, that fulfills you, right? Prioritize that, you know, make that more uh, pronounced in your life, right? Make that more, um, more important, etc. Right? Something that fulfills you, that gives you purpose and meaning. That's what you should really be concerned about, right? When you're on your life journey, right? Don't just get lost in materialism, right? Like what most people, like what happens to most people, right? And, you know, they just get, get concerned about like, getting a lot of material wealth. I mean, you know, don't focus on just this. 
spirituality you are like finding your purpose a meaning right? becoming becoming content and fulfilled that's more important that's what you should be considering right in your life journey right you know it's your life journey i can't really give you any type of clear clear pointers clear uh, clear answers anything like that will show you what you should really be doing and stuff you know, it's, it's, it's it's your life dirty and stuff man. I can't tell you anything specific but you know all I could say is right you know you gotta consider something spiritual right you gotta consider something that fulfills and makes you feel content and happy and stuff right that's this is what should be important right not just getting a lot of material wealth 